let me tell you very basic things about the science. First is the biology. The second one is going to be a physics. And the third one is going to be a chemistry. Okay. Okay. See, in the uh, uh, just just a second, just just a second, just a second, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So I was talking about the biology. See, the biology is related to the life. Okay. It's related to all the living things. It is related to all the living organism, whether it can be a human, whether it can be an animal, or whether it can be a plant, or whether it can be a microorganisms. Okay. Okay. So... In this, we are going to learn about in the part of a biology. Now, the second one is about the physics. Now, if I talk about the word physics, the physics will teach you about the electronic items. The physics will teach you about the height, about the distance, about the speed, about the whatever you do into your day-to-day -day life. Okay. Okay. And the chemistry. The chemistry is completely linkage of each and everything. Now, how? See, have you ever burned the paper? Yes. Yes. And the paper has been converted into? Um, dash. Ash. Ash. Yeah. So, if I say the paper has been converted into an ash, what happens? It is a chemist, it is a chemistry part. Okay, it is a chemical process. Or you can say some of the reaction is going between them, right? Or uh, just take an example. Uh, you have a wheat flour and you're making a dough. Okay, so what happens? You're actually changing the texture from one part to another. Okay, so this is what you are going to observe in the part of a chemistry. Okay, dear? Okay. So, see, it is very simple and I'm definitely I'm going to say that it will actually help you. Okay, it will actually help you to understand better the science part. Okay? Okay. Okay, so... Obviously, as you have moved into the part of a uh, grade 8, in this, the most important part is we are going to talk about is the respiration. Are you aware of the word respiration? No. No. Okay. How do you... Okay. Do you inhale the air? Yeah. What do you inhale? Oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, helium. What do you inhale? Oxygen. Exactly. What do you inhale is the oxygen. So, this is a part of an oxygen. And what you do is you inhale it. Okay. And what do you give out is a... Can you tell me? What uh, do you give out? Carbon. Carbon dioxide, very good. What you give out is the, that is exhale. And what you give out is the carbon dioxide. Okay, so this is the part 
which we are going to talk about in the part of a respiration. Okay, so the short form is O2 and next short, short form is going to be CO2. Is it here? Yes. Okay. See, even you can feel, you breathe in the air and now what you give out is the carbon dioxide. Okay, the respiration actually even provide you the energy to do the day-to-day -day life work, okay? Whatever the activity you're doing into your day-to-day -day life, at that time, what they provide you is the energy, okay? Okay. So, how this all the process is going on, it will start with the part of a nose, Okay, let me draw it. Give me a second. Okay. This. 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 Okay. Can you see this part here? Yes. Yes. What you can see in this picture? Can you please tell me? Uh, lungs, mouth, and the nose. Lungs, mouth, nose. Okay. This is what you call? Come on. Go ahead. Um. What this is called? This is, we call them as a, a lungs. Okay? Yeah, this is lungs. Okay. And this is the? Mouth. Okay. This is Very... the nose. Okay. Very good. Wait a second. And this is the nose part. Okay. And uh, other part name, do you know? Mm, this is throat. Which one? This one is throat. Uh, actually, in simple word, I can say it is a throat. But in scientific or in biological word, I have to call it trachea. What we are going to call it? Trachea. Trachea. Very good. So, this is what we call the trachea. Trachea. I'm sorry for this writing, actually. I don't know why this digital pen is working. Okay. So, this is what we call them as a trachea part. Okay, dear? Okay. And this is the branches inside the... Okay? This is the branches inside the lungs. Can you see the notch over here I have drawn? Huh? Can you see this notch, the curve-like structures? Yeah. Okay. Do you know why there is a curve-like structures over here? No. no. Because your heart is placed over there. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Because your lungs are uh, actually giving a space to the heart. Okay, dear. Okay. See, if we talk about the respiration now, that is respiration means, or you can say the breathing part. Okay. When we take in the air and what we give out is the carbon dioxide. When this oxygen get into your body and when you intake the food, obviously that food will give you a glucose, a source of energy part. Right? Yes. Okay. Then glucose will actually combine with oxygen inside your cell and they will give you a energy and carbon dioxide. Energy will remain inside your body to do your day-to-day -day work and 
carbon dioxide will release from your body because it is a waste material of our body, right? Right. Yeah, but do you know, even the carbon dioxide is very uh, helpful for the other one. Can you tell me for which part or for which uh, living? Um, what? Carbon dioxide is used even for a breathing for one of the, you can say, the living things. Um, plants. Very good. And what they release in the uh, waste form plant? Um, oxygen. Very good. So the environment is very, very, very important for us, right? Right. Yeah, that's the main reason that this is a give and take relationship with the environment, right? We give a carbon dioxide and what they give us is the oxygen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is a whole process of the respiration which is going to take place inside the body. Now, this is a simple diagram I have only drawn to explain you that, okay, this is how the um, our respiration part we are going to study about. And one more picture over here. Let me draw it. This is a diaphragm. This is a part of a diaphragm. Are you aware of the word diaphragm? No. Okay. Let me tell you. Um, anytime have you uh, uh, feel like overeating? Have you eaten a lot? Yeah. Yeah. And at that time, you feel difficulty in breathing. Have you feel something? Mm, sometimes. Sometimes. You know why? No. No. See, what happens when you observe just below the diaphragm, there is your stomach. Okay, dear? Just below your diaphragm, there is a stomach. And when you have a, you have gone to a very good party and you started eating dhana, 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 at that time, what happens is you actually fill your stomach completely. Okay, there is no space. Now you try to breathe. At that time, the diaphragm is actually pushing towards downward. Right? What happens? The diaphragm is pushing towards downward. And at that time, there is no space for a diaphragm to move. Okay? And that's the main reason you find difficulties in breathing. Okay? Okay. Okay. So... This was a very basic thing I was just randomly talking about. But when we go with the flow, uh, we will talk about that how when we inhale the oxygen from the nose, they will go through the trachea to the lungs and even the lungs are going to have a airbag-like structures. And this airbag-like structures are being actually, you can say, covered with the, you can say, capillaries. Are you uh, aware of the word capillaries, dear?